normal Nigeria way <laughs> of you know storytelling. And um, I was like, I try, 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 try. These people want to just spoil the whole. Now you remind me so much of my younger self. I do. Growing up, we always wanted more. You felt you were never really where you were meant to be. Come on, we go. Look at this life. Do you want this life? And I can give it to you. Everything. Free, my boy. Mr. Richard. Yeah. Amazing party you have here. What do you know about Richard Williams? The Six. This cult group, the Brotherhood of the Six, have been involved in countless murders. What do you have to do with all these killings? Mr. Zion, why is he after you and your son? If we go down, you go down. You are in grave danger. And in a minute, they start to inch close. I snap their necks. When you take, you give. It's the order of things. This is no game. Clock is ticking. Tick. Tuck. Tick. Tuck. What have you done? Nothing! Be alone! Are you ready to get your key? <laughs> what key, sir? Key to the good life. Hi people, welcome to another edition with the consultee. If this is your first time meeting me, my name is Chacha Wabara and what we do here are movie reviews, we give you trailers and everything else in between. So if that's what you're looking for, please sit back and enjoy and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes up. To my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for joining me. Let's do this once again. Today we'll be reviewing the movie Living in Bondage. Yes, a little bit too late, right? But don't worry, I'm just watching it now so curiously guys i haven't seen first retro living in bondage i think i appreciate the fact that i haven't seen the first living in bondage right because it's going to make me be objective i'm going to be objective in reviewing this movie like one-on-one -on -one. what do i see in this movie what do i think this movie is all about what do i think you know what are the flaws or anything i've heard a lot of people say that this new version of living in bondage breaking free is um, somewhat not good and um, they were disappointed and all that so wait up hold up a minute okay when you look into the movie this movie um, is a 2019 movie directed by ramsey noir starring ramsey noir as usual um a in ayamwe way monkey jfk monachi abi Ebele Okaro, Zulu Adikwe, Kenneth Okonkwo, Kanaya Okanayo, Nancy Isime, Sean Fura started on a good narrative. But there was something, you know, that ticked me off. I don't want to jump the gun. Living in Bondage is a movie that even when people were watching it, several years ago even though i didn't see it it's a name that living in bondage the name that signifies the the foundation of the nollywood industry so when you talk about living in bondage rattlesnake um, neck of the pretty serpent you know themes like that um this is sort of one I can't remember it. When you talk about those films, you talk about the foundation of Nollywood industry in Nigeria. This present living in bondage, this remake of living in bondage, it was for me it was illuminating. It kind of shed light on the previous living in bondage. I, I've been told the story. My friends will come to school and say, Hey, I watched Living in Bondage today. Have you seen Living in Bondage? Ah, you missed. Ah, you know, stuff like that. So I kind of like sat and I'm like, okay, I crossed my leg and I started watching this movie. Now the movie started with A. Nayan Wigwe um, taking his daughter 
going into the bush and killing her there fine and good for me i didn't feel that first scene the way i the way i would have loved to feel this scene because that time it was a sinister scene everything was the cue everything was perfect but for me i just felt like a nayan wigwe did not deliver it the way i thought he was going to deliver it. Now, this movie moves from there you will see that a nayan wigwe is successful and all that it didn't really hinge on a nayan wigwe after that first kill scene but we see that they are clubbing guys are clubbing and then comes namdi and his friend who come into this club and see people you know there are different classes you know now there's vip um lounge in a club and all that so they wanted to like you know maybe we just enter there now show them they see as he was going he sees um a friend you know girls that big girls like you know they went to school with or now they went to school with or like they were hailing each other hey what's up blah 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 and later on since those, those his friends or that's his friend who is a banker and all that she don't want anything chilling with some guys and they were even the ones dancing for those guys and he was wondering what's a professional like that doing you know all, all over this guy he saw that you know it was a class way ahead of him so they went closer to see how they could you know just enter there you know, find themselves inside and bouncers were there like you know you know what move back this place here is restricted and they wanted to fight you know fight their way through and got thrown out from the club we see that namdi started his own company that he was going to make it and all and all of that but ended up getting frustrated so he moves back packs his things and moves back to his village to his uncle zulu adikwe and ebele okaro who adopted him from the age of five and then his adopted brother as well you know who is a lawyer they were all in the village so that village scene played and he says i'm going to make it he says they now see this auntie of theirs when they went to church he, he noticed that um, his adopted mom, Ebelo Okaro, tried to avoid, even Zula Adikwe tried to avoid her and she was like, hey, now do you have grown? You're so big, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let me tell you the whole story. For those who haven't seen it, you can imagine, it took me so long to see the movie. For those who still haven't seen it and those who have seen it, you can relate with me. It all boils down to Namdi getting in touch with that his auntie. Meanwhile, Namdi's real father is Kenneth Okonkwo. What's his name? Andy. You know, in living in bondage, he was apparently he had denounced that sex, he had denounced the society, and had become a grandfather renowned for you know speaking against ritual killing, belonging to what's it called secret societies, and doing things uh, for money. So that son was Namdi, not Mary. I think the second wife. Yes, the second wife. That son was Namdi. So, but with everything and all that, Namdi was now adopted by this other family and Andy just went away. Andy did not even know that he had a son to start with. So, apparently, the secret society wanted, you know, Kenneth Okonkwo back because he still had that oath. Whereby they couldn't get Kenneth Okonkwo, they now, you know, set their sights on Namdi and they gave him everything without him knowing. The head of the society was Ramsey Noir who was so rich, origin was unknown, he had all the connections everywhere in the world, so he just took yeah. Namdi under his wings, Namdi started having hallucinations, dreaming where he will be initiated and all that, but wake up and see nothing, but still see signs that his blood was collected and all that, but anyhow, he was in love with money, he wanted to get rich fast, he wanted to own the cars, he wanted to be known all over the world, he wanted everything, and so he kind of let everything slide but like they say nothing free goes for nothing um nothing free goes for nothing what's that well there's nothing that is free in this world so he now had to pay back they said he he should get the blood of um, his beloved one the person he loved most in the world who was the person that he loved most in the world that was mona chia b his girlfriend she started feeling things. Um, she was woke spiritually. She said, you're not acting right. What's going on? What blah, blah, blah. And incidentally, she dated one of the members of the uh, secret society. That is, um, is it Kechia? I can't remember his name. 
anyway she now discovered that they have the same tattoo the same mark on their bags and blah 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 instead of going towards the normal ninja way <laughs> of you know storytelling and um, i was like i chai 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 did you want to just spoil the whole thing but anyhow moving forward she now went to go and trace and this supposed father Kede to Konkwo in church and all that all that meanwhile namdi was resisting the urge to kill mona chia he just wanted to die alone he was like you know what kill me i don't want to kill anybody so he he, he, he went you know temporarily insane i kind of like liked you know that place where he became desperate to to kill or to you know to be free he wanted to be free he became a tormented soul he namdi acted that part of a tormented soul properly i have no problems with that any nayang wigwe is like he picked up it's like they always pick up after some time okay fine and good he picked up and he, he, he became tormented his money was not um the all and all for him son of kanayo kanayo who are the initial members of um, that secret society when um, andy that's kenneth Tokonko, was a member and he was also there but i still do not understand why kenneth Tokonko, um was there but i think uh, ramson now tried to recreate living in bondage in such a way that he will retain those old actors to give it um, some sense of originality but um, some of them were not needed they could just have stayed it would have just been a, com a continued story I, I cannot even begin to say oh AJK Asebu was there because AJK Asebu how many times did he act how many scenes did he act wasn't much same thing with uh, Kanayo Kanayo Penny Nayan Wigwe committed suicide because he was just was tormented with the fact that he killed his daughter he had been marrying and marrying and marrying I don't know I don't know don't chicks you know investigate before they start marrying someone your first wife died second wife died third wife died he was not marrying a fourth wife so anyway this time around they committed suicide thankfully for the girl whoever it is that he married sorry about the noise moving forward they try to replay that or to go to killing around 1996 I remember from I remember that incident where um, it was seen that some people were killing human beings and even cooking cooking them and eating so they chased out all those Otogoto members they called them the target Otogoto because the hotel was Otogoto so that was what happened now we are heading dangerously close to the end of the movie and uh, the movie was somewhat disjointed it was a good narrative when they started but i think they were about to lose it but somewhere along the line they picked themselves up again and you know try to package the movie to end to end properly another part i loved was ramsey noir's entry into the movie as richard william his introduction into the movie was perfect was awesome was seamless even when he told Nandi, let's go for a ride ramsey noir is awesome i don't know what happened initially but right now all ramsey noir's movies are all wonderful for me that's what i think is acting delivering delivering his roles you know on a higher level but where i was wondering what was happening was um when Nam stabbed himself instead of his brother and he landed in hospital they said they were doing this they were doing that you know it all ended in an acceptable nigerian way you know that left too many questions about what was happening what is going to happen how is this settled what is going to we kind of made it seem like there will be a part two but i don't think that if there's a part two anyone will be interested in watching it because everything was scattered at some point i, I don't think it encourages anyone to say you know what i'm looking forward to a uh, part two of this living in bondage freedom or whatever to be free or something like that i'm looking forward to it to answer all my questions everyone you know deduce whatever reasoning they wanted to deduce that was how uh, the movie ended it was high it was low middle and then at the end of the day flat so we were just waiting for the movie to end and i'm going to be rating this movie a three over ten like i said in the beginning i said i was going to review this movie based on what i was seeing thankfully i have not seen you know the old living in bondage so i am looking at this movie as as it is and i'm rating it a three over ten okay which brings my movie review to an end did you enjoy it what do you think please leave your comments down below 
if this is your first time here please click on the subscribe button here yeah, there turn up your post notification the bell so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes up i'm so sorry for the noise niger life okay so thank you so much for joining me i'll see you next time bye